All right, scientists, let's get ready. As today, we're going to explore our new topic as we learn about characteristics of the sun. Today with me, we'll read a story and then you'll get into the essential questions and specific vocabulary with your teacher. If you have this article printed out in front of you, follow along, or if it's on your laptop screens, you can follow along as well. If not, make sure your eyes are peeled so you can read my screen. I'll even zoom in a little. Have you ever looked up into the sky in a clear night? Were you able to see the stars? Our galaxy has over 100 billion stars in it. You can see one star during the day. The sun is a star. Like other stars, the sun is made up of gases. It is mostly made up of two gases. They are helium and hydrogen. Hydrogen turns into helium, giving off massive or large amounts of energy. This energy is why the sun shines. The sun is important to life on Earth. Life could not exist without it. It gives us, it gives us light, thermal energy, seasons, day and night, and our weather. Let's take a closer look at the sun and how it affects Earth. Energy. The center of the sun is called the core. This is where the thermal energy is created. The thermal energy is so intense that it makes light. This light supports life on Earth. Plants on Earth use light to make food, and animals and humans then eat the plants. Seasons. Earth orbits or travels around the sun once every 365 days. Some areas of Earth are tilted towards the sun. When this happens and they get more direct light and thermal energy, this causes these areas to have spring and summer. The other parts are tilted away from the sun. They get less direct light and thermal energy, so they have fall and winter. Here is a picture of that to kind of explain it a little bit more. So in this case scenario where we would be in Texas, we are going to be tilted to we're going to be tilted away from the sun. You see the little divider. So we're facing away from the sun still. So we'd still be in our colder seasons here. Let's keep reading. Day and night. It takes Earth about 24 hours to make one full rotation or turn. This is why we have night and day. The parts of Earth that are facing the sun will have day. The parts that are facing away will have night. Gravity. Gravity is the force that keeps everything on Earth from floating out into space. Items with more mass have more pull than those with less mass. The sun is big and has a lot of mass. It has a very strong gravity. That gravity keeps Earth and all the other planets in our solar system orbiting around the sun. Scientists think that our sun will burn out, but don't worry, it'll still be here for about 5 billion more years. Nice reading. So what are we learning about the sun? Well, now you'll go over the essential questions with your teacher and you'll have some time to explore the STEMScopedia as a class before going into more hands-on explore explorations in the next few days. Good luck, scientists, and I'll see you guys soon.